a big fan of the Fujifilm wide conversion lenses, but what if you want something a little bit wider? Well, a few months ago, I was cleaning out a drawer of old photography stuff and I came across this wide angle adapter that I bought originally about 15 years ago for a Canon 350D. This was my first camera and I only had one lens, which was the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens that came with it. And I bought this as a way to take fun photos of friends at parties and to kind of get that lo-fi old school fisheye look. I was about to put it in a bag to give to a charity shop until I realized that it actually has a screw mount, much like the wide conversion lens on the Fujifilm camera. And it really got me thinking, what would this look like on the X100V? The only problem that I had was that the screw mount on this was 58 mil and the screw mount on the Fujifilm X100V is 49 mil. However, by some chance of fate, I also found some step up rings Funnily enough, ones that went from 49mm to 58mm. I really wasn't expecting a lot, but this adapter on the X100V is really, really cool. You get that old school fisheye vibe that was popularised in the 90s with like skate films and stuff like that, where the fisheye is like almost circle in the middle, and then on the outside you can see the side of the lens. Now I was going to do a big massive like 20 minute video on this lens, but I don't want to waste anyone's time, so let's just get into what it is and where you can get it. So the lens itself is actually a 58mm 0.25 times AF digital wide angle lens. I don't know why it says AF because it definitely doesn't have like autofocus or anything. So I've been searching all over online for this exact lens and I can't find this exact one like with the right in the same and everything like that. But I did find one on Amazon which looks identical just with like a different font that the writing's in. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's the same lens and it's just been, I don't know, like branded differently or something like that. I'll put a link to that below, um, that is on Amazon, but there are plenty of these on eBay. And what you are looking for is a 0 0.25 times digital, well, this it's is digital wide angle lens. Um, you're just looking for like a, a 0 0.25 times wide angle adapter. Now, like I said before, this one is a 58 millimeter one. You can get different ones that are smaller or bigger. Um, obviously you will need to adapt them to a 49 millimeter one. Most of them tend to be 58 millimeters and these ones tend to be the ones that are the cheapest. So I would definitely recommend going for one of these and then buying a cheap set of step up rings. I'll also put a link to them in the description um, that you can adapt it to the Fujifilm camera. Please note that if you've never put a filter on your camera, you're gonna need one of these filter adapter rings. Um, Fujifilm do one, it's about 30 pound, but this one is just the same. Um, it's really good quality and it's about six or seven pound. I'm going to put a link to this in the description below if you want to check this one out. So the lens is actually made up of two parts. You have the fisheye bit at the front and then you have this macro adapter thing that comes with it. Um, this is pretty cool because if you don't want to use it as a fisheye lens, you can just screw this macro adapter on on its own and you get like a, it's almost like shooting through a magnifying glass. If you want some really close up stuff, it's a nice little bonus to have. Size wise, it definitely adds a bit of bulk to the X100, but it's not unusable like this and the connection feels really secure. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break the camera or anything like that. I guess in terms of handling, it's probably a lot like the teleconversion lens that you can get. I've never used one of them, but when I've looked at it on pictures, it looks around about the same size as this. Another thing that you can do, which is pretty ridiculous, is if you take off the lens and the filter ring, and then you add on the wide conversion lens, and then you screw this fisheye adapter onto that, you get this absolute beast. And what this means with the wide conversion lens in the middle is that you actually get the full circle of the fisheye doesn't crop the top and the bottom, a bit like this. I probably wouldn't walk around with this around my neck. Um, it's very it's very front heavy and it, it just looks pretty ridiculous. But I guess if you really wanted that look, say for example, you were shooting a music video or a gig, or you just really wanted a circular fisheye look because maybe you wanted to crop it square, this will give you that look. Finally, let's talk a little bit about image quality. The image quality on this lens isn't incredible, but it's pretty good and mainly you're going to be using this for fun. You're not going to be using it to get like the sharpest photos ever. The edges at f2 especially are pretty blurry. I do think it's a cool look, but if you are framing something at the side of the frame at f2, it's going to be kind of blurry and stretched and a little bit weird. This does ease off quite a lot when you stop down to like f8 or f11, but it's still always there. Autofocus works really well. 
Um, I think with this, you're gonna wanna be like center composing at all times. And when I put the autofocus on the center point, it never like missed focus or anything like that. Doesn't really affect the autofocus at all. For something that's not gonna cost you a lot of money, it is a really great lens. As mentioned, everything I've talked about, I'll put a link to in the description if you wanna check anything out. If you've enjoyed this video and you wanna see more Fujifilm content, I've got loads of videos on my channel, so check them out and I'll see you in the next one.